Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about contemporary realistic fiction. Contemporary realistic fiction is a genre of children's literature. The definition is a fictional story that did not happen but could have happened. Events and characters are made up, but everything in the story has to be possible in real life. It is a popular genre of children's literature because it is familiar and easy to relate to for students. The people and places may be similar to those you already know. Although we can relate to the main character through their disappointments and their joys, readers' knowledge of their world is still limited. We all have different life experiences, and although we may read about something that we have also went through, that doesn't mean we know exactly how the main character feels. Every situation we encounter can differ. A majority of the contemporary realistic fiction books have a protagonist as the main character. Do you guys remember what a protagonist is? We talked about this in class a couple weeks ago. The protagonist is the good guy in the story. So some common categories of contemporary realistic fiction you guys might encounter while reading some books are animals, sports, survival and adventure, a good, funny, humorous story, mysteries, which is actually a top children preference since the 1920s. Another category is problem novels, school and family stories, and series books. So series books, we've read a lot of series in our classroom and I have a lot of series books in our classroom library. So like Junie B. Jones, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, books like that that have one book written and then the author writes a couple more books so, and it all goes in a line. So a genre that I'm going to compare to realistic fiction is historical fiction. And you heard in both of those that I said fiction. And although both of them do have fiction in the name, they are not the same thing. Historical fiction is set in the past. And the main characters can be fictional, but are often historical prominent people. So that means that in historical fiction, usually authors use really popular people that everyone know about that took place in history. For example, Martin Luther King. So when an author writes about Martin Luther King Jr., he is a historically prominent person. We have learned about him and we know his history and what he did. So they use him to write a book. Whereas in contemporary realistic fiction, we usually don't hear about characters that we already know of. They're usually made up characters with names we may have heard of, but not people that we actually know. Another difference is in historical fiction, they often set the book on an event or place that things had happened in the past. So in realistic fiction, books aren't set in places that we usually know of. They're usually in some made up town or some made up neighborhood. Whereas in historical fiction, they could be based in Cedar Falls, Iowa, which is another difference. And the one last difference that I'm gonna state today is that historical fiction is usually not contemporary. And how we talked about today, contemporary realistic fiction, that's different because historical fiction is often set in the past. It's in time long, long ago before you guys were born. So that's what makes it different than contemporary realistic fiction. I am now going to be listing some contemporary realistic fiction books that I have enjoyed reading and that I think all of you should read as well. The first book I'm going to be talking about is Because of When Dixie by K.D. Camilio. The book is about a 10-year-old girl named India in her first summer in a new town. Everything that happens to her in the book is because of her dog, and they're all good things. This book is a Newbery Honor book, and it is in the category of school and family novel. It is a contemporary realistic fiction book because there is real-life events in realistic characters. The title of the next book is Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. The book was written by Judith Vyortst and illustrated by Ray Cruz. This book is a story about a boy named Alexander who has the worst day ever. Nothing in his whole day seems to go right. This book is also categorized as a school and family picture book. I'm not going to read the whole book to you, but I am going to read an excerpt so you can learn a little bit about what the book is about. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair, 
and when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on a skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. The next book I'm recommending is called The Crossover by Alexander Kwame. This book is a free verse novel. It is a book about twin brothers who enjoy playing basketball. It also has a bit of family drama, so it's not just for people that enjoy basketball. The book is a contemporary realistic fiction book because it is set in the present day times and has realistic characters and realistic things that happen in our everyday world. Because of Mr. Terrupt is a book by Rob Bouillet. It is a story told by seven fifth grade students. The book is all about their first year in fifth grade and their new school teacher. The book has a lot of humor at times, but it also contains some school drama. This book is categorized as a school novel. Ramona the Pest by Beverly Cleary is a story about Ramona's first few months in kindergarten. The book is categorized as a realistic fiction humor novel. This book is often enjoyed by younger students due to its humor and relatability. The book Who by Carl Hyacin features a new student named Roy who makes two friends and one enemy at his new school. If you want to know what happens in the book, you'll have to keep reading. But for now, I am going to read you an excerpt from the book. It was then, squinting through the smudged glass, that Roy spotted the strange boy running along the sidewalk. It appeared as if he was hurrying to catch the school bus, which had stopped at a corner to pick up more kids. The boy was strawberry blonde and wiry, and his skin was nut brown from the sun. The expression on his face was intent and serious. This book is categorized as a mystery slash suspense novel. Thank you for watching. I hope you now understand what contemporary realistic fiction is. And now that you have some recommendations, you can start reading more books within the genre.